Hi, I'm Monica. Welcome to Craft Connections. I'd like to share our latest crafts with you. Uh, the first one we have is a sunflower and you can see it's three-dimensional. All right, so for this one, first thing you want to do is click on the link there that says sunflower template and you'll, you'll see this. Go ahead and print that out. Okay. Um, if you don't have a printer available, you can just go ahead and draw these yourself. This is about a two inch circle and this one's about three and a half to four inches. All right, and then you're just gonna have a stem, all right, for the flower. So either go ahead and make those yourself or print this and then cut those out and I used construction paper for the craft, but you don't have to. If you only have white paper, you can use that. All right. Um, but you're gonna need to cut out a bunch of circles that are gonna make the petals for the sunflower. So once you've got your two inch circle, okay, get some paper. Now I, I'm gonna use yellow paper. If you don't have yellow paper, you can use white and just color. You can color it in yellow. All right, go ahead and, and fold it into thirds. This is the easiest way to do this. Fold it long ways into thirds. And then you just lay your template on there and trace around. All right, you can get about five of these going across. And then when you cut, you can cut three out at once. So instead of cutting out 15 circles, you've only got to you only got to cut out five. So that'll just speed it up a little bit. And I used blue paper uh, for the background, but again, you can use whatever you like. So you'll want to have. Let me show you. The center of the flower is a bigger circle, okay? That's the one that's about four inches. So go ahead and trace that, cut it out. So you can glue that larger yellow circle on up towards the, about the top third of the page. And you can do your stem in green, okay? Go ahead and trace that, cut it out, or again, if you're doing it on white paper, just go ahead and color it green. So go ahead and glue on, glue on the stem like you did the big yellow circle. All right. And you're also gonna wanna have one small green circle to make the leaf, okay? Just like you did, it's the same size as the petals. All right, so then a little bit tricky part is folding the petals. All right, so let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna have your, your two inch circle. All right, and then you wanna fold it so that it comes to a point. All right, so fold one edge in and then the other, okay. So it's gonna be pointed on one end and rounded on the other. So you can see it, it's three-dimensional then, so you can, it opens up a little bit. All right, so go ahead and do that with all of your small yellow circles, because those are the petals for the sunflower. And then you just start gluing them on, okay? With the pointy end pointing towards the center of the center circle, okay? And you can get about 14 or 15 going around the circle here. All right, and then again, you do the same thing with your small green leaf. Go ahead and, and fold it the same way. All right, so those all get glued on there. And then your last step is um, to put the seeds on the sunflower. So I used dried beans, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so you can do that, 
or you can you can take if you have black tissue paper you can cut it into squares and roll them up into little balls and glue them on there or you can just draw them on with a marker or crayon okay and that is your sunflower and our second craft is pretty simple it is to make a rainbow out of craft sticks all right so you need some craft sticks. I've got the bigger jumbo size, but if you have the smaller ones, that will work too. So you want six of these. Go ahead and either paint them or color them with marker, uh, the different colors of the rainbow. Okay, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right, so if you're painting, you gotta let the paint dry completely before you continue. Then you just get a small piece of cardboard or cardstock. You could use part of a cereal box. You know, um, go ahead and cut it out. You want it so that it's just a little bit smaller than all the craft sticks put together. <clears throat> so glue your craft sticks onto the backing, and then you can add some clouds. All right, you can use some cotton balls. So four to five cotton balls should do it. And you just glue them on the top. And I kind of stretched mine out a little bit just to try to make it look, look the make the clouds look fluffier, <laughs> okay. So, um, and then if you happen to have a, a magnet, you can stick it on the back so you can put this on your refrigerator. All right, so there you have your, your rainbow. All right, well, I hope you have a lot of fun with these crafts and um, take care, be well. See you next time.